Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run looking at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days as we still have a lot of warm dry weather around and then we'll have a look at the mid to long range forecast where things are looking much colder and more unsettled have a look at the GFS, GM, Eastern DF and their ensembles still got good strong signs now that we will be going much much cold with a proper polar air mass moving in over the course of next week so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description so if you do start on the live radar you can see really little precipitation around at the moment. So there are a few little patches of green across perhaps northern England and a little bit in Scotland where we have some thicker cloud, meaning a few little showers are popping up. For, for, but for the vast majority, it is real nice out there. Of course, cloud amounts will be highest in the north and the west, um, closer to sort of the edge of the higher pressure. More mixing of air, meaning more clouds forming, but it still is really quite nice out there. Mid to high teens for pretty much all, getting towards 20 degrees once again today in a few spots. Temperatures will be slowly declining over the coming days with a bit more mixing of air, um, but it still will be mid-teens, um, so it still be pretty warm out there. If we do have a look at the temperature overlay on the radar, you can see, of course, warmest temperatures across central England. And parts of Southeast um, Ireland as well, and a few parts in Scotland. Uh, you see, at a higher ground, of course, a little bit chillier, but generally really quite warm with these orange colours getting towards 16, 17, 18 degrees locally, a little bit higher. And you can see this high pressure bringing warmth all the way across Europe as well, getting even hotter in France, getting into the low 20s there. Really, really quite nice. Um, uh, a bit of a change to what we have had um, recently, or at least, of course, for the last six months with winter, um, a bit of a change with warmer weather coming in, sign of the things to come over the coming months. But as I said, next week, it's all going to be reversing with things turning much more unsettled and potentially significantly colder with maybe a real cold polar air mass um, and maybe even some wintriness can you believe it for the end of march and early april but if we do first have a look at the uk met office run over the next couple of oh, next five days looking at precipitation and temperature now i can say of course this afternoon a bit of cloud further north and west, as I said. That will try and push in land, but it will break up over the course of the evening into tomorrow. And another pretty stunning day tomorrow. Some cloud bubbling up again, some cumulus cloud, but it shouldn't be anything too crazy. Again, through Saturday, another really quite nice day. Sunshine once again, but that wind is veering more into the east, into the north. Then kind of things maybe a little bit chillier along the east coast, maybe a bit of fog moving in. And by Sunday bit more cloud especially across southern England with the centre of the high position further northwards and that's because this high pressure is moving towards Greenland slowly in um, and it's going to bring the, down that cold air next week and then Monday looking at a decent few showers potentially popping up through Monday afternoon. Thundery perhaps there with some darker colours uh, or lighter colours turning, to, turn, turning red there. And through Monday into Tuesday, you can start to see the air mass starting to move in more from the north, potentially turning things a bit colder. And if you have a look at those upper air temperatures, you can see that bitterly cold air is just to our northeast and it will be spreading its way inland towards the UK. And you can see that with the pressure charts, high pressure for the north, those isobars bringing the air in from the north and the east, turning things much, much colder. But for the next five day temperatures are going to be decent. Early hours of this morning, chilly, mid to low single digits, frost in a few places. But as I said, by the afternoon, temperatures widely 16 to 18 degrees, really quite nice. A little bit cooler further north and west, but under the cloud, but still really, really quite nice. Through this evening, it's early hours of Friday. Once again, temperatures in the mid to low single digits. Pretty chilly as soon as that sun does set. But by Friday afternoon, once again, 15, 16, 17 degrees, 17 degrees really quite pleasant. And again, through early hours of Saturday, chilly. But by the afternoon, again, 
16, 17 degrees. And very similar through Sunday, low single digits. And by Sunday afternoon, those temperatures, perhaps, as I said, converting a bit further northwards across northern England, 16, 17 degrees. And you can see across the far southeast, chillier around 10 to 12, maybe 13, 14 degrees as that wind starts to veer more in from the east. And Monday, again, chillier overnight. And in the day, temperatures starting to cool down across the east coast. You can see across northeast England, eastern Scotland, mid single digits, 6, 7 degrees with that air coming in from the north. Sea, and you can see by early hours of Tuesday, those temperatures really starting to drop. You can see right at the top right of the map, temperatures down to four or five degrees across the North Sea. Is that much, much colder air mass? is spreading in and i'm expecting the highs next week perhaps towards tuesday wednesday thursday time being only five six degrees widely colder for some wintry showers around as well especially further northwards and westwards so we do now have a look at the mid-range forecast have a look at the gfs gm and ecm ecm looking at of course the pressure charts over the next couple of weeks so if we do start as uh, so with the GFS, one thing I must say is the GFS run actually does go not particularly cold, very weirdly. The other two runs are very cold, so I don't know what's going on uh, with this individual run, but it doesn't quite pull off the cold weather. But if we see the next few days, high pressure over the top of the UK, and we see that blocking towards Greenland, and we start to veer that wind in from the northeast, but low pressure develops out in the Atlantic and sort of pushes that colder air away. And you can see at the upper air temperatures, that cold air just remains to our far northeast. Uh, very close by, but not quite pushing in. And we go into a chilly westerly flow. By the end, maybe perhaps warmer air coming in from the south, but it's very unsettled. So it won't feel too warm at all. And by the end of the run, just a general westerly Atlantic flow with high pressure really breaking down. So very weird there from the GFS, backtracking what it's been showing recently. But I do think it's just a bit of a milder outlier, as we'll see with the ensembles at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, still looking like we are going to be seeing that blocking develop and that colder air. Just a bit of an anomalous run here from the GFS. So we do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. If I run back to the start, you can see high pressure over the top of the UK, retrogressing up towards Greenland, and we start to pull in a bitterly cold northeasterly wind. Real, real cold air moving in. Look at that temperature deviation, a good four, six, eight degrees below average, all the way across northern Europe into the UK. Real, real chill to the air. And you see that minus 5 line we through, if not getting towards minus 10 at 850 HPA. And you can see low pressures mixing within that, potentially bringing something wintry within those, uh, within the showers as well. And it continues unsettled and right towards day 10. We're still very unsettled um, and cold with the wind in from the north, but you can see that blocking is dissipated over Greenland and it's likely to turn more into a westerly flow and again look at those upper air temperatures still in the cold air mass temperatures will still be really quite cold towards the surface um but it would turn eventually a little bit more westerly so it could four or five day cold spell there from the gm run looking very very cold indeed and that's backed up by the ecmwf over the course of the next 10 days you can see high pressure over the top of the uk ridging up towards greenland and we go into that northeasterly wind bitterly cold lining up with the gm perfectly and you can see very very cold air mass pushes through all the way through the whole country and sustains itself for a good few days before we start to see that westerly flow starting to push back in but still cold at day 10 still overnight frost just sort of uh, pushing away that um uh, wintry shower risk with higher pressure and if we do run it back and have a look at those pressure charts instead of the air masses again you can see low pressure always in control that high pressure eventually dissipating um before it starts building back from the south but yeah still very cold and as i said temperature deviation you can see a good four to six to eight degrees below average really really cold um and it's not looking good if you're uh, loving the weather at the moment it's going to be a big change 10 plus degree change in daytime highs from the, from today yesterday and the next few days all the way to the middle of next week with daytime highs probably five or six degrees overnight lows below freezing real real chill in the air so i hope everyone hasn't put away their hat and gloves and their winter coats because i think we're going to be needing it next week so if you we do have a look at the ensembles and see what they're showing over the next few weeks we start with the gfs ensemble you can see warm at the moment above average staying like that over the next few days and then around the 30th of march dropping significantly below average and you can see that the operational run has got some support in saying not quite cold 
but only really for maybe four or five ensemble members. The majority are getting down to that minus four to minus six, if not lower than that level. Staying really cold. With increased precipitation, snow would be likely, especially over higher ground, and wintriness quite widely in terms of, sort of wintry precipitation, sleet, gravel, hail, and even snow as well. Beyond that, though, you can see through maybe the 3rd to 5th of April, much milder air mass moving in. That's likely from a south to southwesterly wind with low pressure running in, and it stays unsettled with increased precipitation and generally above average temperatures. So it will be a temporary cold spell, not lasting for more than maybe like three, four, five days, but it will be really, really cold for the couple days it is here. If you look at the dew points, dropping below freezing, meaning wintry precipitation is likely. Uh, and again, two meter to temperatures, you can see at the moment, 15, 16 degrees over the next couple of days. And then by next week, the average dropping down to maybe six, seven, eight degrees again. Would likely be a little bit colder than that in reality. Because, of course, we've got some milder outliers pushing it up at the moment. So, yeah, looking cold next week. But it does return to around average again, back to us towards 13, 12, 13, 14 degrees once again. As we head into the start of April after this brief cold spell. Now, if we have a look at the Eastern Relief ensembles and see what they're showing. You can see again, mild and warm at the moment, and then dropping well below average around the 29th, 30th of March, i.e. Uh, sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time next week, depending on the exact run. You can see staying down to sort of minus 4 to minus 6 degrees at 850 HPA, with the operational run right in the thick of most of the ensemble members. Of course, there are some milder runs, we can't discount them yet, but we have got... Pretty consistent uh, signals from the ensembles and the operational runs for it staying cold. And that is continuing today with the uh, ensembles all the way to around the 3rd of April where we do return to around or above average. You can see though the control run, that thicker blue line, stays very cold all the way to around the 7th of 8th of April. That would be really, really cold indeed. A good sort of week long cold spell there. That would be chilly indeed. It would be plunges and plunging us back into sort of wintry weather in terms of daytime highs, 5, 6 degrees, lows below freezing, really would put a chill in the air, and we would be seeing wintriness with that as well. But that is on the colder end of the ensembles. It's only got support from a few ensemble members, so I would discount that at this stage. But a lot of precipitation around, looking very, very cold next week. And as I said, hopefully you haven't put away your hat and gloves yet as it will be needed next week. But for the time being, make sure you do go, go out and enjoy the warmer weather we have now and over the next few days, as it is going to slowly turn colder towards the start of next week. And by the middle of next week, it could be much, much colder, with temperatures, as I said, down 10 degrees on this week. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.